Sean Sewell with InGearmit.com in the beautiful, cold, snowy mountains of Colorado, testing out the Vermont Glove Tuttle. It's a brand new one for this fall winter, and uh, I've been testing it here. It is, uh, I think it was 20 degrees when I checked the thermometer last. And these are awesome gloves. So let's get into review so I can tell you why. For reference, start with sizing. I'm usually on a men's medium to large in gloves. Uh, with Hestra, I'm a size nine if that's helpful. Uh, I went with the size medium. There's actually a really good size chart on the Vermont Gloves website. It's cool, you put your hand up there, you print it out, you put your hand on the paper, and uh, you spec it out, and you find out which one is the right size for you. So these, these came in about a week and a half ago, and I've had a chance to use them uh, during the fall, doing some fun stuff in the city, and now in the mountains, uh, winter camping and hiking around, and very soon I'll be using them for my favorite thing, splitboarding. What these are, are a made in America, made in Vermont to be specific, uh, goat leather. Goat leather is always awesome. It's my favorite leathers. Uh, Pittards is one of my favorite goat leathers. So this is all goat leather, so it's very uh, pliable, but very tough. And it's got a fun stitching pattern, as you can see right here. They've been doing this for a long time, and so they have kind of perfected their technique. Uh, these, these gloves are made to last. And I, <laughs> I like the purple. I don't think I've ever had purple gloves, uh, but it looks nice. I like it. Um, they are lined. It's a wool poly lining. So here we go. There's the inside. That's the lining. It's surprisingly warm. Like I mentioned, it is uh, low 20s. And it probably got lower than that last night. And when the sun was not out, uh, it feels a lot colder. The sun is just behind the mountains to the east. It'll be popping up any minutes. This is just kind of like the glow in the morning before the sun's out. So uh, they have been toasty. I actually, I take them off when we were, I was in my sleeping bag last night and just uh, go to a base uh, $10 pair of Costco fleece liner gloves, the head brand, I think, because these were very, very warm. They're breaking in very nicely. And yes, you can absolutely treat them with conditioner and the beeswax treatment to get them waterproof. I have both of those on the way, so I, perhaps I might make a video of how to treat them, or at least how I treat them uh, and condition them so that they become even more uh, weatherproof for the conditions you see behind me and in front of me, um, which is where I'll be using these gloves the most in the winter, recreating outside, ripping skins and trekking up the mountain and uh, high-fiving my friends and petting dogs and all the fun stuff we do in the backcountry. So there they are, the Tuttle from Vermont Glove, right there. Surprisingly comfortable, and these are not your basic hardware store gloves by any means. These are very well made, and they and high-end. These are 130 bucks right here, but it's American-made, goat leather, wool-based liner, great fit, knit cuff so it easily slides on and off so no hook and loop you just slide your glove on boom you're good to go which is very helpful when i find myself with slightly wet hands say you take a glove off to get something with a finer articulation taking notes uh, observations and snow reports and stuff like that and then you go put your gloves on your hands are slightly wet it's nice to have that knitting that makes it easy to slide your hand into the glove and the liner being built in and sewn in as opposed to being kind of a second liner or second layer in the glove doesn't pull out when you pull your hands out when they are moist or wet so good stuff if you get any questions let me know in the comments below we'll get back to you as soon as possible i do check the comments daily if not every few hours if you have any experience with vermont um, gloves let me know um, They've been around for a long time. I'm sure somebody out there has got experience. I'd love for you guys to share with our audience what your experience has been. I am Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Engearment.com. And until next time, take care.